every now and then a project just kind of like smacks me and is like, no, you are not taking the cheater way out of this one. And that's what happened with my latest Lago tank. Let me tell you about it. I'm Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging with me, you all. And a special thank you to all of the recent new subscribers. So, you all, I made my second Lago tank, which is um a pattern by Itch to Stitch. And I did make quite a bit of changes. Um, okay, so let me just do a quick rundown of the first one that I made, the camouflage one. And then I'll talk to you about some of the changes and what didn't work out. <laughs> so for the camouflage one, I followed the So Busty tutorial and I'll link to that in the description box below. But I did follow their tutorial on how to make a cheater like FBA, so like a boob bubble around the side. Now this is not a new technique for me, although I've never actually like gone through and thought about uh, all the technicalities behind creating this FBA, right? I mean, in the past, whenever I've made a top out of a knit and I knew that I needed a little more space at the bust, I just kind of like worked in an additional amount, you know, just kind of eyeballed it. And it always seemed to work out pretty decently. For this camouflaged one, I used a cotton knit that didn't have like a great amount of stretch. I mean, it, it had, it had, it had some stretch to it, just not a great amount. And so when I was looking back at pictures of the fit on this one, I noticed two things. And the first one is that it, it fits me a lot, a little looser than I would like to. I like my tanks to be a little more form fitting. And secondly, my armhole was kind of pulling forward and it was exposing my bra. And so that was telling me that I needed a larger FBA. So for tank number two, which is the one that I have on now, I decided that I was going to size down and make an even bigger boob bubble. And that's where I went wrong. I increased that boob bubble pretty significantly for this top. Now this fabric is actually an ITY. So it's a poly spandex blend ITY and it's got a whole lot of stretch. I think that stretch made a really big difference in how this top ended up fitting. I mean, can you see my boob bubbles under my arms? That is, it. well, <laughs> it's something, isn't it? <laughs> Once again, it's a reminder that A, fabric matters, and B, quit trying to cheat your way out of everything. I guess there really is a limit to how much of an FBA you can actually do cheater style. For this green top, I actually cut a size 12 and I ended up having to take out that entire boom bubble, everything. I mean, I had to remove it all. And quite honestly, I do like the way the size 12 fits. Is it a perfect fit? No, but do I like it? I do. I feel like that's something that we need to keep in mind as we're making garments for ourselves because it's really easy to get lost in the weeds. But really the big question that I like to ask myself and that I'm telling you, you should ask of yourself is, do you like what you made? Do you feel confident in what you made? And if the answer to both of those questions is yes, then go and wear that garment and quit messing with it. Sometimes when you keep making additional changes, you just kind of go down this rabbit hole and you're like, well, now there's little drag lines here and there's drag lines there and you fix one only to create another. Maybe, maybe the solution is to try another pattern. So that's my green top and I do like it. In fact, I could see myself making more of these and I like the way that it looks in the ITY and I feel like it's really perfect for summer. Um, so I would definitely make this up in a size 12 again from itch to stitch and maybe leave out that boob bubble. If I were to make it in a cotton knit, I would add the boob bubble back in. <laughs> Something that I did that was special on this tank is I went in and I cover stitched it, but I did the underside of the cover stitch 
on the outside. So let me just show you guys. I really do like this cover stitch machine. And you know, I've actually been taking some tips from my son who's about to be four years old, but you know, whenever he does something good and he's excited or he, he's made a new accomplishment, he will cheer himself on. He is his own best cheerleader. He'll say, yay, I did it, high five. And you know what? I've decided that I'm gonna start high-fiving and cheering myself on a whole lot more. So after I got this cover stitching done, I sure did go downstairs and I high five that little dude. I do need to add more summer type of clothing to my closet, um, in particular tank tops so that way I can layer over them. But I, I would also like to add some t-shirts. That's one of the holes in my closet and so that's something that I'm looking forward to actually fixing. Now you all, I didn't make this top on my serger because my serger, it, it's like super expensive to get fixed. And <laughs> so I ended up having to order a new one. You all, I ran my serger into the ground. I had a brother 1034D and it was, it was, it was good to me, you guys, because really like I started oiling it in the past year and I've had that thing for five I, every now and then I would accidentally surge through a freaking pin, you know, like I just, I was not very careful with it and it's down for the count. <laughs> so my local repair guy actually recommended that I pick up a Janome machine um, and he had recommended a model and that's exactly what I went ahead and bought and that should be here on Monday, but I'm excited to have that one and to... And to get back to sewing knits super quickly, because nothing makes you appreciate a serger like when it's gone and you have to sew up a bunch of knits. <laughs> so I guess the big lesson of the day is you can't cheat your way through everything in life. And when, when things do go wrong, I mean, just laugh about it and correct and keep it moving, right? And let's not forget to celebrate our successes and be our own freaking cheerleaders and cheer ourselves along when we're doing something really good. And just in case you forgot what my failed boo bubbles look like, here's some more pictures right over here. <laughs> well, if you're at all curious about my very first Itch to Stitch Lago tank top over here, check out this video and it'll walk you through the different things that I did. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.